We have an exceptional video. I hope you'll find it an exceptional video. Check this out. In the news, since the 19th actually, but we can see here as of the 21st of December all the way to January 7th and beyond actually a couple of days past that, there was nothing but fog here. And there was fog day and night, all day and all night. For those who care, well, anyways, for the ones that are curious, please watch till the end of the video. I have some secret moon f footage, and uh, it's a big, big, big-ass secret on the moon. I have to share this with you all. So a mixed video. We have the sun, which I'm very worried about. Wait till you see it. So look what the sky looks like every day since, you know, December, January, a lot of fog. This morning, last night again, more fog and it's absolutely impossible for me to see stars for me to see i got some last night but not for very long you know so it's important to know that uh, the sun the sun um yeah i think that's the reason why everything is acting the way it's acting the weather's acting the way it's acting that's for sure the sun is very aggressive right now look at the beautiful snow ice filled sort of frosty it's actually it's exactly frost on the trees so the sun's very aggressive we've had an x 1.4 x 1.9 solar flare a week ago but now we have another coronal mass ejection that just happened it's on its way slowly towards earth for february 18th late during the 18th look at the atmosphere this is a beautiful well for five minutes beautiful morning with the sun's rising no clouds yet in the sky it's only going to last for a couple of minutes i got a members video yesterday of the film uh, of the sun sorry on uh, that i filmed the other day and now today january 16th to show the differences so it's turning and these sunspots are turning to face earth how long are they going to last probably a couple of days look at the disturbance that you're seeing around the sun so that's not the clouds that are going by because usually we see a disturbance when we see the clouds going by i don't know if you've ever seen the sunspots or the sunspot video if it's your first time you're lucky because you're looking at one that's pretty bad the sun i've never seen it this bad so far they're talking about dangers for blackouts and a whole bunch of things coming i've had problems with my telephone lines yesterday and the past few days it's happening more and more as of last year it started this year it's getting pretty bad well 2022 but now this year 2023 it's just ridiculously something else look at the fusioning on the sun there the quantity the size of that to give you an idea every spot that you're seeing here on the sun is basically bigger than earth the small ones, as big as Earth. So we're going to keep this video, uh, well, short, uh, make a nine, ten minute video, but I want to stick to the basics, and that's the sun. And when I show the sun here, and you know that I have a sun video, it's not going to be boring. It's going to be filled with spots. So it's going to be something interesting. I'm not just filming the sun every day. I do, but when there's no spots, I won't even mention it. We're about to look at these close-ups, guys. I hope you appreciate them. I went out three times in 15 minutes to get different um, close-ups to get the, it closer. So now we're looking at it closer, and the last frame will be even closer. We're about to head over to the moon. So you saw today's aggressive sun. I'll keep you posted 24-7 on what the sun is doing here at all times, as I've always been doing for these past couple of years now. But I want to bring you onto the moon and show you one of the biggest secrets near Copernicus Crater that I hear astronauts starting to talk about. Now let's head to the moon. Oh, so sorry to disappoint you trolls. I know you don't like me mixing sun with moon videos. 
but I'm trying to share a truth. This is a secret. The last damn video before I was taken down for two bloody weeks again, I showed yet again the line at Copernicus Crater, a couple of miles from it, with the blue spot right there on the top. I am going to show you the other blue spot, and then I'm going to zoom out, show you the whole part of that moon, and exactly where you can see that line going to the bloody blue spot. Over top in the right corner, you're going to see another blue spot up here, more purplish. These objects and all these colors are really on the surface of the moon. These objects at the end of these lines, whether they're producing energy or not, is hidden. Please listen to the rest of this video very carefully. Also, I'm told I'm asked to remind you to please remove your badge, uh, as I did, because uh, this will be filmed. Ha <laughs> ha. I mean, what a joke, right? Imagine the people protecting a nation, hiding their identities. Isn't that a little scary? The ideal on the moon is that these white reflective rectangles, even though they're somewhat symmetrical, they can be hidden by applying a simple smoke over the surface. And of course, we're far away from the planet, well, maybe, but Earth and the moon, there is a distance between it, no matter what that distance is. And it could be the reason why we're not seeing all the structures properly, quite simply. So if they were to paint all the structures on the moon, <laughs> we would see them very differently. Here, the cloud cover, smoke, uh, exhausting of the craters, natural or not, definitely is not helping for us to see the surface. It can't all be shown in one day. Copernicus, right there, top left, underneath there's everywhere, we can see connections and natural or not, let's take a look and zoom up. I'm gonna show you that there's nothing, nothing natural about what we're looking at here. It's all cut out, I believe, the surface. So bottom left, we're going to get a close-up shot of that quite simply. It's the same image you see here. So you see where the arrow is, there's a line there going to some object. You see between the two white arrows, there's also another line connecting and going right across many other objects in a straight line for many miles. Well, look here. There's another object, that line, sorry, to, to a light source going over or under this other line, but yet going to that big structure again on the top, connected to three objects, smoky areas where a line is going through. What do you think they could be filtering, producing, building, energy, oil, fuel, water, mining? I mean, there's a whole bunch of things that come into consideration. Look on the bottom where the arrows are. More lines, tunnels, or pipes, and some of them go inside and watch this. You could even see um, one of the pipes where there's an actual cut and a separation right there where they don't touch, but the pipes are aligned one in front of the other. These are details that are small, hard to notice and, and to, to see, but once you understand it, it's, it's very easy to see. These are all structures. Another light source in the circle right there. And over to the right, looks like a mining setup. It's incredible. All that surface we've never seen by NASA. That's why I know and I believe that they're hiding that. Everyone, thanks for the generous contributions and thanks for watching the videos. Maybe up there on the moon. And maybe even coming right here soon. Aliens are on the moon. Yes, they are up there. Doesn't matter because disclosure's coming soon.